Today is day four of our Thrive Budget Adulting Life Hacks free video coaching with Natalie Pace. You can reach me at info at nataliepace.com and you can watch this back um, at youtube.com forward slash Natalie Pace. Now, today we're going to talk about something that everybody in the world would be doing if they knew, if you're healthy. And that is the health savings account. So most of us are healthy and we're spending an arm and a leg on health insurance and that's making the health insurance company rich. So what is a health savings account? It's kind of like a retirement account, but it's got all these benefits, right? It's got a, a tax credit. You can, it's gonna become your best long-term healthcare plan. Uh, it's going to reduce your health insurance premiums by sometimes thousands, most sometimes even tens of thousands of dollars. The savings are extraordinary. So everybody who's healthy should be thinking about this, particularly if you're young, because again, it, as you retire, the biggest expense can be health insurance costs. And you're going to have all this health insurance that you're gonna have, to, um, I mean, healthcare costs. You're gonna have all this health insurance that you're gonna have to pay extra and above your Medicare. So why not have like this little nest egg built up for yourself? And again, if you don't use it for healthcare, it becomes a retirement account and you can will it to other people. Now, how does this work? Well, basically, and a lot of people say, oh, my employer provides health insurance. Well, you need to check your stub because most of us are paying for our own health insurance. They're just deducting it from our income. So we may be spending a lot more on healthcare than you might be thinking about. Now, how it works is this, is that you're gonna get a high deductible health insurance plan, and then you're gonna have all of the money socked away so that you can cover that high deductible in your health savings account. And the health savings account is going to be providing you a tax credit every year. So you're actually paying less in taxes. So you're going to save by the amount of taxes that you pay. You're also going to be saving because you stop making the health insurance company rich. Now, if you're not healthy, then maybe this isn't the best option for you. But if you are healthy and you're spending an arm and a leg on health insurance, it's a very good thing to consider. Now, the first thing you might want to do, first of all, I do cover it in the ABCs of money in the Thrive Budget section. So read up more on health savings accounts there. But also, you can go to irs.gov and uh, just Google irs.gov health savings accounts, and you can learn a lot about them here. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to open up a health savings account um, I would suggest you think about doing it at a brokerage. And the reason for that, first thing you want to do is keep depositing in there and build it up. So if you go to the doctor for a sniffle, don't try to just take it out of your health savings account, even though you could without any penalty. Try to start building it up. Think of it as money while you sleep. Think of it as um, part of your emergency fund or your retirement plan or you know stop making the insurance company rich plan so start building it up you want to get at least two years of deductible in there before you start investing thereafter you can start investing so your money can earn money for you all right but do you do want to have that at least two years of deductible in there before you start investing all right, so um, the benefits, again, I know people that are saving tens of thousands of dollars a year by using the health savings account and the highest deductible together. So don't just assume that your employer is prov providing it for you. If you're at a very low income, then maybe you're getting state-funded health care, right? So you don't have to worry about this particular life hack. But if you have a good, decent job, then this is a very good life hack to know about. And again, I would definitely think about doing it at a brokerage. Um, you'll have more investment options than if you do it at any other financial services company. Okay, and again, there's a lot more information in the ABCs of money. Be sure you're getting the most recent edition 
by going to nataliepace.com and clicking on the book cover there. So again, I'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna go for another big ticket um, thing that a lot of people could be saving money on with smarter choices. There's no change in lifestyle at all. Uh, obviously with housing and with transportation, that is a change of lifestyle. The health insurance one is not a uh, health savings account, no change in lifestyle. You just get to keep thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars with smarter choices. The next life hack that we're going to teach in tomorrow, same thing. All right, Natalie Pace, nataliepace.com, youtube.com, Natalie Pace, and info at nataliepace.com. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow.